2012 Mazda 3, right rear upper control arms, through the coil of SEU, really old, jack the car on the rear cross member, onto a jack stand at the pinch weld, we'll take the tire off. Wall, 20 volt impact wrench, link in the description below. Amp of the tire, low for safety. 150,000 miles on it. Original upper control arms, parts, link in the description below. Each of the bolts are 17 millimeter. We'll use the impact one here, other over there. Pull this out. Pretty difficult to get tool access. Also, we got a PO456 sensor again after three years with a replacement. So watch my video on that. We're gonna replace that sensor again. So we had to lower the subframe. So while we're there, we're gonna replace the U. Right, lower shock bolt, coil spring bolt, which you have to use some extensions on your socket to get up in there and remove that. Another one behind, you can see that open hole there. New lower arm. There's an opening and another opening. You'll stick your 17 through there straight up. That's the fourth bolt. We have a two by on our jack and we're gonna lower the subframe two to three inches very gently. We bent the canister vent solenoid bracket to the vertical. Um, I wouldn't torque it too much, but we removed the solenoid for solenoid replacement and we were able to put a 17 millimeter socket on there. We just hand place the new one in, we'll hand thread all the bolts, then use a torque wrench only to torque them down. Use a jack underneath the knuckle. Hopefully with this much stuff disconnected, this will fall out of its alignment. So use a jack and some brute force to position this exactly where it needs to be. This goes on the outside. Rethread took up to about 100 foot pounds. Uh, link in the description below, and you should be all set. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.